Merry Christmas! Ah! I'm just kidding. I know exactly what day it is. You'll need to tell me in the comments. But if you want, you can. Welcome back to Crocheting Christmas. Is it still technically Christmas? Are we past the Christmas date? Kind of. Technically, yes. It's no longer Jesus's birthday, but it really, it never was. It, it, you know, if you, if you know, you know. If you saw my other video, you know. You know, I know, we know. But, uh, am I late with this last video? Yes, but, this is technically Christmas break if you're a child. We all remember being children. So I would say squeezing it in, maybe get some points deducted for being late, but oh, would it really be a gen mail assignment if I didn't hand it in late? <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you got everything you wanted, and if you didn't, I hope you ate plenty of good food, and if you didn't, I hope you ate. I know this season's rough for a lot of people, and I just want to acknowledge you and say that you are important and loved, and it's important to remember that when we feel bad, that there is someone out there in our universe that is feeling exactly the same way that you're feeling. And I know that it's beneficial to me and maybe to you to know that you are not alone in your feelings and we are connected. I believe you. I believe in you. I love you. Appreciate you being here. And I'm sure I'll say this again in the next video, but if the only thing that you did this year was survive, you did it. We did it. And that's okay. It's so okay. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> we're, we're figuring it out. We're doing our best. We're in a post-apocalyptic era, and turns out it's a lot more capitalistic than TV and movies led us to believe. So, we're here. We're doing it. Love you. Mwah. Okay, so let's start talking about this pattern. Ooh. Oh, is that Holly? Yes, yes it is. Fun fact, true story, when I was younger, way younger, like child, I thought Holly was mistletoe. Right? And then when you find out mistletoe is, it's got like, I guess, white berries or something? It looks gross. It looks poisonous. And I googled it. It turns out that it's actually a parasitic plant. I don't know what that means. I, I, I assumed like, oh, it like, it takes over. So I'm like, maybe it's like dandelions. So I Googled, are dandelions parasitic plants? And the answer is no, they're perennials. <laughs> so my childhood. <laughs> so I don't know where this, this thing came from. I don't know if it was in a coloring book or if I just printed it out from the computer or if it was like busy work during like grade school and the teacher was like, here, do this thing instead of learning. And we were like, yeah, okay, whatever. And anyway, it was a colored in holly that I cut out and I taped it above the basement door in my childhood home and that lived there forever. True story. <laughs> so this pattern, I'm on it, we're on it, we're on that level today. So this pattern, I would say medium difficulty. As you'll see, I made a couple of these holly plants and there's no two leaves that look the same. And my only like comfort in knowing that is that there are no, there are no, there are no leaves that really look the same, right? It's nature. I'm gonna be a little berry and see, so it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Another fun thing about this pattern is when you click on it, there's gonna be a video link to a person that makes it. I'm assuming it's the person that made the pattern or came up with the pattern, but I don't know. You know, I don't make these patterns, obviously, and 
I have them. <laughs> and I have the links in my description for you. So I don't know if she came up with the pattern. Um, I don't do too much research into that. But anyway, the video. So the video. I clicked on it because I was like, this is a little confusing. There's just a little part right here. I'm like, you know what? I don't like really watching videos because I feel like they're slow. But anyway, she spoke Spanish. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I can't use this, but it's pretty cool. So if you speak Spanish and you don't want to actually read the pattern and follow along with someone, there's a video connected to the link in my description. It'll be a lot of clicking, but it'll be fine. I'm sure she'll appreciate the uptick on her website. <laughs> so the leaves I would say were medium, but the berries, super easy, so easy. And I would say the holly itself actually pulls in the Christmassy aspect of this pattern. I have my wreath over here. So if you see me in all of my videos, like looking up and you're like, oh, what is she looking at? The wreath, I'm looking at the wreath and it's fine, it's fine. Hey, who remembers this from my first crocheting Christmas? Hey, isn't this nice? Should I have hung it up in the beginning? Maybe. <laughs> Also a fun thing about this, as you could see early on in the video, I flipped it over and I'm crocheting on top of that and it's Santa and his sleighs. Sleigh? Sleighs. Santa sleighs? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, my mom had hers hanging up when I went to go see her on Christmas and I like peeked in the back to see what it was and she's got red and white ornaments. Like specifically the bobbles. And she's like, is that what's behind yours? And I said, no, it's Santa in a sleigh. And I didn't even tell her. I didn't even tell her that I flipped it over and filmed. I mean, she'll see, she'll see, she'll, she'll see. Turns out, fun fact about mom, Mama Mail, she knows what number of viewer she is when she watches my videos. And that's fun. <laughs> Friends, I want to tell you about something that invaded my brain and then I was like, why did we do that? So I remember specifically in third grade, but I'm sure we did it. No, I think we did it in first, second and third grade. I don't know if we did it any year after that, but I know for sure we did it for first, second and third grade in Catholic school. We would take one of our shoes off, we'd put it outside and then a I don't know what they said I don't know specifically if they said like a Christmas fairy or something some type of Christmas entity would fill up that shoe with treats no it was a Ziploc bag filled with Hershey's Kisses and Reese's and those mini candy canes you know very cute now I was like, what does this have to do with Santa? And I've never heard of this ever. And like I said, like I don't think we've ever done it again. And like I said, when the Catholic school is the same Catholic school from first grade to eighth grade, I don't know why they didn't just want to give us candy when you're older. I guess the Christmas fairies said, nah, just for the babies, but it's fine, whatever. <laughs> But anyway, I looked that up. Turns out that is a Brazilian tradition that they take their shoes and they leave it outside hoping that St. Nick will fill up their shoes with sweet treats. And I can only assume that that equivalent that we have is the stockings. Though I don't know, maybe they also do the stockings, so. <laughs> I'm telling you, no one does the pageantry of Christmas quite like the Catholics. I'm telling you. Another positive affirmation that I have read is that we have to trust that our future selves can handle a future problem. And you know what, friendo, we have. We've handled 100% of the problems that have faced us. And there are things that are so dramatic that have happened to us. And we just like, took care of it like adults who are we we're great we are great <laughs> very important that you know this 
as we're closing up the end of the year that we are great. All right, friends, that is a wrap on crocheting Christmas 2023. If you watched any of my videos, if you liked any of my videos, if you commented on any of my videos, if you shared any of my videos, you're super great and I love you so much. And even if you didn't follow the whole journey, maybe you just saw this, you're also appreciated. I also love you. If you go back and watch the other ones, you can see me be just as crazy. So, up to you. Friends, I am not going to say see you next year. I am 1000% going to post another video on Sunday. So I will see you then. But until then, this has been an excellent crocheting Christmas. I really like the reefs. Expect to see more reefs in 2024. Oh, I think that'll be fun. Expect to see other projects in 2024 as well. So, won't be all crocheting, but I always appreciate the love that I get for crocheting Christmas. But there will be more crocheting. There will be more crocheting, and like there will be some crocheting reefs and stuff like that. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I love it. We love it. You love it. Oh, super excellent. Okay, friends, okay, thank you, love you. I'll see you in the next one. On to the next project. <laughs>I got COVID for a second time this year. So say the next thing, please. I don't need to know how to do a single stitch. <laughs> I know how to do it, I'm an adult. <laughs> oh well. Great. Oh no, it's a new moon tonight. That's exciting. That's exciting. No wonder I'm feeling a little crazy. Been a little witchy maybe. I mean, that's what's going on. Oh my, no witchy. Odd, but okay. Or quirky, or goofy, or silly, or all of the words. Anyway, I will be honest, kind of excited to be done wearing this. Maybe one more video, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see.